As I stand here before you today in the presence of the triune God, creator, sustainer, and king of the universe, and in the presence of our dearest family and friends, I vow to love you with a patient love, a love that is kind, a love that does not envy or boast, a love that is not proud, a love that does not dishonor you, a selfless love that is not easily angered or keeps record of wrongs. A love that does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. A love that vows to always protect, always trusts, always hopes, and a love that will in all ways persevere. I vow to set you as a seal upon my heart and a seal upon my arm, to love you with a love as strong as death and a jealousy for you as fierce as the grave. A love that flashes with flashes of fire a love animated by the very flame of the Lord. A love that cannot be quenched or drowned by the raging waters of this world. I promise to be faithful to you through the pressures of the present and the challenges of the future. I promise to rejoice and laugh with you through life joys and comfort you and share your pain through the darkest days. I promise to serve the Lord with you for the rest of our lives, wherever he may lead us. I promise to look to God to grow spiritually every day of my life so that I can keep growing into the wife that he wants me to be to you. I promise to help you and walk with you as you continue to become the man that God called you to be. I promise to love your family as mine for the rest of our lives. I promise to be the best mother that I can be to the children. Bound by love, one flesh to be an unbroken reed. And I lay down my life for thee in love. We are free Like the first man I was cut so clean By heaven's light When I awoke from my sleep grounded in shared values, mutual respect, and commitment to serve God together. So, my phone now, got my glass. Let us raise our glasses for a lovely toast 
to Mr. and Mrs. Glover and an amazing, happy, blessed future together. So cheers. Cheers. When he first told me that he met a girl online, I said, okay, I mean, they can make it work. I mean, long distance. He said, no, this girl's on the other side of the world. In Bob Reed. I said, is that a place? But it's just been crazy over the past four years to see them make it work. I mean, it's obviously uh, God's, it's God's will for them to be together because for them to make it work on two different sides of the world, that's insane. Yeah, I've just, I've never seen him so happy and it made me, it just made my heart uh, sore when he drove out to Illinois to meet her for the first time. Uh, we were praying so, so hard. Uh, and then when he sent the picture of you guys like hugging or something, I was like, oh man, this is great. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Jared and I developed a special bond as we fought for the food scraps that fell from the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> no children, no children. Uh, I was told not to tell any embarrassing stories today, but if anybody wants to know any, I'll be sitting right here. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, Jared's an amazing guy. I enjoy all the conversations that we have, anything from faith to sports to book recommendations or new songs that you listen to. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to what God has in store for, for both of you in this new journey. Which we're in. So, to Jer and Mary. Jer and Mary. Actually, I, I love her to death, and uh, they're very giving and wonderful people. The Lord just shines through them, and I, I love Mary already like a daughter. She's perfect for my son. She brings out the best in him. And, I mean, I'm going to miss him. He's only going to cross the street. But I know he's in good hands. And um, I'm going to do good. And um, so basically that's it. But thank you. And the storms are coming, cover up the moon. They may steal away the starry skies we knew. They can't take away, can't take away what's true. I belong, and I still belong. I belong to you.